after the coronavirus, another pandemic begins to strike the United States. Similar to COVID-19, which has killed over a thousand people in Washington, the giant Asian hornet has arrived in the Pacific Northwest, right next to Canada. It's an impending tragedy. The first murder hornet was confirmed in the city of Blaine. They fatally sting humans and wipe out entire bee colonies by decapitating them. The murder hornet can decapitate a bee colony in just a few hours. Bees are fundamental in pollination and food production. If the murder hornets are not contained in Washington, it will kill food production in the United States and consequently the rest of the world. Fields of uh, uh, blueberries or fields of uh, raspberries or even uh, apples and things like that, they pay a lot of money to beekeepers just to put our hives there on yeah. their property. And so just leave the hives there and they pollinate all the, uh, all the uh, fruits and vegetables. I mean, avocados, even things like uh, alfalfa, which is fit to livestock, uh, is pollinated by bees. And so if, uh, if the, the amount of bees are suppressed, then the amount of uh, berries, nuts, vegetables, uh, even livestock is going to be cut down on the amount of food that even livestock will have. So yeah, it's a, it's a huge deal if the Asian giant hornet puts a dent in the population of uh, honeybees. Ted showed me that the murder hornet defies all measures taken by beekeepers to keep their bee colonies safe. What they really want is the honeybee's larvae. The Asian giant hornet, they'll just lop off the heads and still make their way in. Ted said that if the hornet wasn't contained in the Northwest and continued to spread, there would be a very high chance it would spread throughout South America. The fact that this has never happened before makes everything speculative. The creature is supposed to be on the other side of the world, and in the west it is complete uncharted territory. He's concerned that it's a threat to honeybees, and consequently our food supply. One thing we do know is that Asian giant hornets are really good flyers, so they can spread naturally on their own um, fairly easily, which is a big concern because in... Um, Washington state, there's a lot, especially Western Washington, there's a lot of habitat that is ideal for Asian giant hornets. And we have a lot of undisturbed forested areas that are very um, difficult to access. So if um, Asian giant hornets move into those locations, it's going to be difficult to detect them and to eradicate them. It's the biggest concern really is for honeybees. Um, they also attack other kinds of insects though, but it's the, um, the honeybees and similar types of, of bees and wasps that they will take out entire hives. However, if you're allergic or you receive multiple stings, you could have some serious health complications. It could be fatal. The first murder hornet in the U.S. was confirmed on December 8th of 2019 by Blaine resident Jeff Cornelius. It's pretty surreal, but it's, um, it has potential to, to become... Pretty devastating. Jeff called the Washington State Department of Agriculture and the first U.S. case was confirmed. A few months later, the hornet was displayed in the Smithsonian Museum and the department sent him a queen hornet and a worker hornet. The murder hornet is scientifically called the Vespa mandarinia and is also widely known as the Asian giant hornet.